Hello everyone, welcome back to another video here on Play on GA. My name is Seamus Brady and in this video I'm going to be giving my reaction to Waterford hammering Wexford by 520 to 16 points in the Allianz Hurling League semi-final of 2022. But before I get into the video, please like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Please help, it really helps the channel out. Um, and yeah, let's get into this. So Waterford looking imperious. Desi Hutchinson scored the first point from an acute angle and on five minutes, Waterford got their first goal. Austin Gleeson punishing a terrible puck out by Mark Fanning. Soloing run. No one came across to cover the defence. No one came to him. Gleeson gets in and buries it on the left. Brilliant goal by Gleeson. Charlie McGuckin hit a lovely point for Wexford and D. O'Keefe leveled it from distance. So Wexford recovered pretty well from that goal. But on 17 minutes, they were hit with another sucker punch and it was literally an identical goal the difference this time was desi hutchinson hit a gorgeous pass into austin gleason same angle same left hand finish brilliant uh, brilliant signs for waterford that austin gleason looks back to his best it could have changed though because wexford had a goal but it was it was ruled out and um, mikey dwyer got on the end of the move rory o'connor ran and Connor Gleeson was on his tail, but Rory O'Connor appeared to run the ball out of play. It somehow managed to go back across the square to Mikey Dwyer, who put it in the net, but the umpire judged that it had gone wide. A brilliant Michael Kiley point followed this soon after, and Waterford were 2-8 to 7 points ahead and firmly in the driving seat. And then on 29 minutes, Desi Hutchinson's goal was brilliant, brilliantly set up by Dara Lyons. 3-8 to 7 points, Waterford couldn't be more in control at this stage. Early in the second half, Waterford got their fourth goal. Jack Prendergast making a 4-12 to 10 points. Controversial here, did Patrick Curran keep the ball in play? He was holding his arm out like that, running along the sideline. He seemed to keep it in, in my mind. What do you think? Put it in the comments. Do you think he kept the ball in? I don't know if you've seen the video. It's up on TG Carr's Instagram page. I'm sure you can find it if you look it up. Let me know. Do you think Curran kept it in? Either way, it was a brilliant finish by Jack Prendergast into the roof of the net. And from this point, it was just damage limitation for Wexford. Rory O'Connor continued to hurl well. He had a nice score for them. But Neil Montgomery responded to that one. 4-14 to 12 points. And it only got worse. As soon after that, Shane Bennett hit Waterford's fifth. He took the ball off Matthew O'Hanlon, ran through the Wexford defence, got past a poor challenge by Simon Reck and batted it into the net, 5-16 to 15 points. Controversially, though, Austin Gleeson was shown a red card. In my opinion, it was so harsh. The worst bit is, is that Simon Reck is there, and he clearly, clearly didn't want Gleeson to be sent off, but the referee persisted with it, sent him off, and that means he could be out for the league final. Now, Liam Cahill has said he's going to appeal it, rightfully so, because Gleeson was playing some fantastic hurling there. And him being gone could have a real blow for Waterford for the league final. Jack O'Connor was also sent off for Wexford. He got a second yellow. He can have no complaints. The first challenge was like a WWE move. And the second one, he just threw the hurl at the goalkeeper. So he can have absolutely no complaints. He's off as well. Um, just an awful day for Wexford. Losing 520 to 16 points. It's never going to be a good day. Only good sign really was that Lee Chin was back on the pitch for them. But... Yeah, I don't really know what to say for Wexford. Waterford look imperious, though. And I really think that Limerick are the Kings. Limerick are the team to beat. But Cork and Waterford are really coming strong. And then Kilkenny as well. You can never write them off. And then you got the likes of Galway that are a bit of a dark horse. So either way, but what it showed me is that Wexford are not on the pace. I mean, I know it's a league game. And I know you can just have an off day. And I know that they won five games before this and they had a 100% record and I know that every team has a day like this but this was this was really bad to lose to concede five goals and not only that Mark Fanning made two unbelievable saves so it's it's back to the drawing board big time for Wexford Waterford looking imperious that's my opinions of this match let me know what you think in the comments below. Waterford 520, Wexford 16 points. Waterford progressed to a league final with Cork. We're going to be doing a full preview of that league final, so make sure you subscribe and check it out. Until the next video here, guys, I'm playing on GEA. Take care.